staying on the design tip, but moving to the interior of our house, I have to say I'm very proud of Alana. Myself, I've also been working on a little self-development in the DIY stakes to follow in Ewan's footsteps. And Alana, it seems like, is taking the same voyage of discovery, and she's got oh, the perfect person to show the ropes in Matana. And at the moment, they're about to do something that is really ingenious. Why? Because it is going to save you a ton of cash and also breathe new life into your living space. Something very simple, something that is completely creative and ingenious. We are about to refurbish a shelf. It doesn't sound spectacular, but the results certainly are. Take a look. We can tell that this is a piece of furniture from yesteryear, but is it marble? No, this is wood that simply begs for an updated, revamped look. Matana, this is a very old shelf. Where did you find it? Yeah, this, this shelf needs some serious TLC. It's super old. It's from my grandparents. So oh. instead of throwing it out, I thought maybe I could try it, fix it up, paint it, and give it a new makeover and a new look. I've been looking for a small shelf in my bedroom for a while now. So I thought this would be perfect if we redid it to use it in my bedroom space. Now, what do we need to make over this shelf? So we're going to need some metal cleaner and a cloth to wipe the different poles down on the actual shelf. We're going to need some masking tape, and some wood filler, a scraper blade and some sandpaper. We're going to need our one litre of universal white primer paint and then we're going to need one litre of our water-based enamel paint, which is the colour of my choice that I feel matches my bedroom. And then we're going to need a drop sheet to make sure that we secure all our areas and don't mess anywhere. We're going to need a plastic a paint tray with a roller brush and a paintbrush. And that's it, and we can get started and make it come to life. Okay, so where do we start? Okay, so first we're going to give this thing a good wipe down because it is really dirty and it's been in storage for a long time. Then we're going to take our wood filler and we're going to look for chips and nicks and we're just going to start filling it in with the wood filler, letting it dry. And then we're going to take our scraper blade and sandpaper and just smooth and scrape down excess wood filler and make it smooth. Then a good tip to remember when you are doing this, when you're actually buying old furniture to revamp or redo, is to always check for woodworm. And it's very easy to spot, it's just you see lots of holes all over the wood. And usually if it does have woodworm, it's unsalvageable, so you've got to throw it away. So always check that first, because you don't put all that hard work in, and then you find out it has woodworm. Then we're going to start taking the masking tape and we're going to look at the poles that are actually attached into the wood. And we're going to take masking tape and just put it around the areas that are touching the wood so we don't get any paint and damage the brass. And then once that's done, we're going to take our universal white primer and we're going to start giving it a coat top and bottom so that we completely secure it. You can use a small brush or a sponge roller, whichever you prefer. Make sure you use even strokes and work in a well-ventilated area. Okay. Well, it looks 10 times better than what it was. It really does. And now we're going to wait for it to dry. And then we put on our final coat and then it's ready to go to my apartment. For the second coat, Ilana and Matana used a water-based enamel paint. When dry after an hour or two, they gently removed the masking tape. Matana, this looks good. Metal cleaner. Thank you. Okay, I see what you're doing. So you're removing all the masking tape bits. Exactly. And I guess we're shining next, right? Yeah. Masking tape off, then we're going to shine these Old poles, they've been painted, so we're going to try them back to original colour. Hopefully it's going to be a goldy, kind of brassy looking colour, and then it's going to be complete. This is exciting stuff. It just shows you that within a few hours, we've literally transformed this shelf that was really old into something that you can use and have in your home. I'm, I'm excited to see the pictures of what it will look like in your own home. Uh, me too. Well, let's get shining. A last tip. When choosing a colour, always opt for one that complements its surroundings. Matana picked this versatile white that pops against the dark walls. Painting wood furniture is a budget-friendly way to breathe new life into your home and have fun in the process.